A very good morning to you on this beginning of the week for us, Monday the 28th of March. Caleb Ministries, go to Exodus 25 verse 8 today. It says, have the people of Israel build me a holy sanctuary so I can live amongst them. God gave Moses extensive detail for his dwelling place. Not because he's unreasonably demanding, but because these detail had a much larger purpose. Remember, there's always a purpose in and for anything God does. He never does something as in a nice or a good to have. There's always purpose. The design for Israel's worship reflected heavenly realities. The tabernacle and all its articles of worship were only a copy, a shadow of the real place of worship in heaven. You find that in Hebrew 8 verse 5. It was a visible expression of the invisible throne room. God gave Moses a picture to help translate one realm of reality into another. And the copy, the shadow, had to be accurate. That tells us a lot about the nature and purposes of God. He wants to dwell, dwell with us. For one thing, He desires closeness. But it also tells us that He wants us to know the environment of heaven. He shared with us a picture of where He has lived for all of eternity. So we could experience a taste of eternity now. In showing us His natural habitat, he has invited us to explore that environment and make ourselves at home in it. His description of heavenly realities was an intensely rational move. Other places in scripture gives us glimpses of those heavenly realities. The vision of Isaiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, as well as the heavenly scenes of Revelation 4 and following. These are invitations to e imagine what God's environment is like. Some people read them and think, I can't comprehend that, so they stop trying. Others step into the picture and try to hear the sounds, smell and smells, see the sights and more. That pleases God. Such pictures are not given in order to frustrate, they are given in order to share the experiences. If you let your thoughts run wild in the pictures of His presence, your sense of His presence will increase. I pray, Lord, inspire my vision to see your throne room and all your dwelling places, both in heavenly and material realms. Wherever you, whenever you choose to dwell, wherever you choose to dwell, whenever, I want to see you there. I pray it in Jesus' name.